For years, people have pushed the limits of not only creativity but construction in the search for an architectural design that will truly set them apart. After all, we spend a good chunk of our lives at home, so they should be a reflection of who we really are. Some of us might add our own special touch with a house plant or an accent wall, but others go a little bit further. Today, we're going to take a look at 10 of the most unusual houses in the world. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. A marine-themed retreat in Mexico. Well, it might not be a pineapple under the sea, but this water-themed design is really quite a marvel. In Mexico City, there is a home designed by Javier Sanosian of Architectura Organics, and the inspiration for the home is none less than a seashell. This shell-inspired home was built in 2006, and if you didn't know better, you might think it was just a really, really big seashell. Of course, there is more to this home than just a stylish facade. The incredible artistic touches extend into the home as well. The giant wall of colored mosaics on the front side of the structure works with natural sunlight to bathe the living room in rainbow light. Designer Javier was inspired by the works of Gotti and Frank Lloyd Wright. As a tribute to the latter, this stunning home features natural plantings and multiple spiral staircases throughout. Currently, the house is home to a young family with two children. Opinions vary on whether this awesome piece of architecture more closely resembles a snail or a seashell, but perhaps the answer is irrelevant. The very purpose of the design was part of what Javier called bioarchitecture, a calculated effort to make the home blend into the natural scenery. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. A home of holy origins in Holland. As it turns out, the idea of converting a church into a modern home is far from unique, and has been done multiple times around the world. But the number 9 in entry on today's list is quite possibly the most striking. St. Jacob's Church was originally built in 1870 in the city of Utrecht in the Netherlands. It operated for over 100 years until all ceremonies and operations ceased in 1991. After that point, it was used mainly as a showroom for antique furniture and an occasional venue for concerts and special events. Over time, though, the gorgeous building was left all but abandoned until 2007 when a company called Zek Architects stepped up and proposed a residential conversion. This was a project to breathe some life back into the old structure. Permission was eventually granted, and by 2009, work was complete on what Zek dubbed the Residential Church XL. The interior is an elegant mix of old and new, with the classic stained glass windows remaining untouched and the interior design boasting simple but bright elegance. Number 8. Portuguese Stone Home Known locally as Casa de Panita, the stone house is an architectural monument located in northern Portugal. The idea for it came about as a means of making the home blend in with the surrounding landscape. Construction began in 1972 and was completed two years later. The home consists of a foundation ceiling and walls made from massive boulders. Originally, the owners used the building as a holiday home, but today the house has become a popular tourist attraction and is the site of a small museum that commemorates the history of the stone house. Number 7. Japanese Slide House If you're watching this, chances are you were once a small child. You know, just a small chance, I suppose. Unfortunately, as we grow up, most of us stop hanging around playgrounds, but the next house on our list may help you get in touch with your inner child. In Magoraku, Japan, there is a three-story, 1,762-square-foot home designed by Japanese studio-level architects. The home is appealing from the outside, but what really sets it apart is what's inside. Connecting the three floors is a set of staircases on one side of the house and a pair of slides on the other. That is right, slides. For the family who lives there, it means an unforgettable descent for their children who frequently use a slide to travel between floors. But slides aren't the only kid-friendly feature this house has to offer. In fact, this private play palace also has a ball pit and a reading nook. As for the other rooms in the house, the entire family shares a single massive sleeping space that encompasses the third floor. The home also features a kitchen and a dedicated study space. All in all, this house is an incredible marriage of fun and function that guarantees a one-of-a-kind childhood. Number 6. World's Smallest House in Germany Alright, so our number 6 entry just barely made it on the list, but since it was deemed a house by its designer, we'll give it a pass. The world's smallest house can be found in Germany, or really wherever the owner decides to put it down. That's because the world's smallest house is a mere one square meter, and also weighs just 40 kilos, 
and is also even on wheels. This rather strange shelter was built by Van Belo Lemensel, a Berlin-based architect and founder of Hearts IV Mobel. The structure consists of a wooden frame, sliding window, and even a lockable door. The inspiration for the design was the result of Lemensel's childhood, most of which was spent living as a refugee in social housing. According to him, he wanted to build a space for himself and said that the micro-home is, quote, the only square meter in the world where I can decide what direction the window looks in, what direction the door opens, and what neighbors I have. Given its tiny size, this home is surprisingly versatile, offering multiple methods of use. It can function as an office, space, patio, bedroom, and more. The original plans are quite extensive and even feature the option of a kitchen. Unfortunately, all the available plans lack one very quintessential thing, a washroom. Eh, maybe I'll wait for the version 2.0. Number 5. Dick Clark's Rockin' Hilltop Escape in California, USA. From 1960 to 1966, the prehistoric Flintstones kept viewers around the world giggling along as haphazard Fred and his best pal Barney negotiated day-to-day -day life in the Stone Age. The show would go on to spawn a ton of merchandising in several movies, including a rather infamous cigarette commercial. Many people grew up with Flintstones vitamins or onto Flintstones lunchbox. However, one superstar decided to build an entire Flintstones house. Dick Clark is a name that should be familiar to most for over 60 years as he was a guiding force in the direction of media and entertainment, from American Bandstand to Dick Clark's rockin' New Year's Eve. Until his passing in 2012, it was almost impossible to imagine the world without his influence. Among his many pop culture loves, Dick Clark was a huge fan of the Flintstones, and when he sold his $3.5 million custom-built home early in 2012, the world found out just how big a fan he was. Located on 22 acres of land overlooking some of the most notorious California sites, including the Boney Mountains, the Serrano Valley, the Channel Islands, and the Pacific Ocean. The single-story home features one bedroom and two bathrooms, a living room, kitchen, and a dining room that seats four. Unfortunately, the only thing the prestigious prehistoric pad doesn't have is a collection of animal appliances. Number 4. Chateau Du in Belgium. The Belgian town of Stenokerzeel is home to a 98.5 foot tall water tower built in 1938. The tower was even played an important role in World War II, when it was used as a watchtower by occupying Nazi soldiers. I didn't say it was a good important role, but hey, it's there. But starting in 2007, architect Mauro Bergam of Bomb Design Studio set about converting it to a stylish and trendy modern home. The result was a six-story home custom-built for entertaining. With two executive chefs and a truly stunning view, its owners have made it a party destination. But it's not just humans that get to have a good time in this one-of-a-kind home. The owners also happen to be cat fanatics and have had several unique touches added to make the home a little more cat-friendly for their beloved feline. Number 3. The Slender Carrot House in Poland The Carrot House is located in Warsaw, Poland. It was constructed in 2012 and is officially the world's narrowest house. And just how narrow is it? Well, the Carrot House is just 122 centimeters wide at its widest point. Since the structure doesn't actually contain any opening windows, it is illegal for it to be classified as a dwelling. However, determined to have the space used regularly, it was classified as an art installation. Nowadays, the home functions similar to an Airbnb, with riders being the primary clients. Now it's time for the day's best pick. My top pick today would take a lot of guts to live in, and it might just be the most exotic home you've ever seen, if not the most horrifying one. Number 2. Chilling Cliffside Crib in Australia. Of course this is in Australia. This incredible vacation home appears to be one with the side of this cliff in... Uh, somewhere in Australia. This sleek, breathtaking home was designed by Open Platform Architects, or OPA. OPA named the design Casa Brutel and described the house saying, quote, and Casa Brutel redefines the harmonious coexistence of human and nature in a poetic homage to pure brutalism. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately in this case, this house isn't currently on the market. But given that it is suspended a bone-chilling 350 feet above the ocean, most people would probably think twice about spending the night there and much less purchasing it. But for those with nerves of steel, this beautiful home skims on none of the essentials. In fact, this bright open concept home is built in a cantilever design to mimic the angle of the cliff face. This not only makes it blend in seamlessly with nature, it also allows inhabitants to enjoy the most striking 180 degree view that practically gives you a view from the edge of the world. Number 1. Transparent House in Japan 
They say you shouldn't throw stones if you live in a glass house. But while this is typically just a figure of speech, it may ring particularly true for inhabitants of a completely transparent house in Tokyo, Japan. The 914-square-foot house was built by So Fujimoto architects who say that the inspiration for the see-through home came from Asian species of man who used to live in trees, fully exposed to others and to the elements around them. But being completely exposed to the world around you isn't the only similarity that the design bears to ancient life in the treetops. According to Sao Fujimoto, the open design of the interior means that inhabitants talk to one another between levels unobstructed by walls. This rather simple element is something that most people will rarely experience in their lifetime. In his own words, Sao Fujimoto describes the experience by saying, quote, The white steel frame structure itself shares no resemblance to a tree. Yet, the life lived and the moments experienced in this space is a contemporary adaptation of the richness one experienced by the ancient predecessors from the time when they inhabited trees. Which one of the houses on today's list was your favorite? Which one would you want to live in? What would your dream house look like? Let me know in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.